So this is pre-calc, and we are doing function types, and we're going to talk about uh, quadratic functions this time. So we've done a lot of work with quadratics in the past. Uh, we know that they come in the form, or one form that they come is in is ax squared plus bx plus c. When we graph them, they look something like that. So they have some change. They don't necessarily have that symmetry across the, the y-axis. They can be anywhere. So let me put a quadratic on here. Throw some points on here, and we'll figure out how to write an equation for it. So 1, 3, um, I'm not even trying to draw it to scale. 3, 7, and then something like 4, 15. So notice I have three points here now. And I'm actually going to need them because I have three variables I'm going to find. So let me write some equations off of these using this base. So if I take the point 1, 3, x is 1, 1, y is 3. I know that 3 equals a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. I can take this next point, 3, 7. I know that when y is 7, x is 3. And similarly, that 4, 15 point, uh, I know that when y is 15, x is 4. So let me clean up the system a little bit. Doop, doop. Um, these are all just ones. So a plus b plus c is equal to 3. 3 squared is 9, so 9a plus 3b plus 2 is equal to 7. And then this one, 4 squared is 16, so 16a plus 4b plus 2 is equal to 15. So now I have the system to solve. And uh, there's a way to do it on my calculator, but I think that I will just do it by hand here. I'm going to subtract a, b from both sides here. So I know that c is equal to 3 minus a minus b. So what I can do is I can plug that into, oh boy, those are c's. I can plug that into those equations. So I wrote them as 2's accidentally to start with, but they are c's. So 9a plus 3b plus c, but c is 3 minus a minus b. Notice by doing this, I'm, I'm eliminating one of the variables. I'm making it a simple system to solve. Plus 4b plus c is 3 minus a minus b equals 15. So 9a minus a is 8a. 3b minus b is 2b. And then if I subtract 3 from both sides, that's a 4. Do something similar down here. 16a minus a is 15a. Uh, 4b minus b is 3b and then minus 3, so that should be a 12. So then what I've got to do is solve this little set. And there's lots of ways uh, to solve them. You've had lots of practice with them. Um, as, I, as I solve them, I'm just going to do it real quick. Oh my gosh, there's the bell. What does that mean? 8, 2, and 4, 15, 3, and 12. It looks like A would be 2, and B would be negative 6. And if I want to know C, I could plug them back into any of my equations. 2 plus negative 6 plus C is 3. It's going to get really loud here in a sec. Negative 4 plus C is 3. So C is 7. So my equation would be Y is 2, X squared plus or minus 6 times X plus 7.